Ladies and gentlemen, this is Yuvi Aksan. This is taking back the Just Cause Three record. Just a ten-minute video. Yeah, it's like, what did it take a lesser, so less time? There's a small video or what? I think I'd, he already made a video about right, obliterating record. I think he made it twice, if I remember correctly. I don't know. But yeah, I guess somebody took it again. So he's doing. So is he going to keep doing this? Every time somebody's going to beat it. Every time he's going to take it back. If I remember correctly, Just Cause 2 is much harder to basically do because there's so much things to do it. I remember that, right? When I played Just Cause 2, this, the map was ridiculous. At the time when I was playing it, that was the first game when I saw like, holy shit, how many markers are there? Right, and game, I think it had a fast travel later on, but it mostly wasn't that easier to understand type of thing. Did it fast travel? I don't remember it because I'm pretty sure I never fast traveled. And when sometimes mission fails and you realize you're the other side of map, you're like, what the f you have to go and the map was incredibly big. So Just Cause 3 obviously has a fast travel, right? And Just Cause 3 was really fun. I remember it. Like, holy shit, this is really fun. It was different than Just Cause 2 somewhat, but 3 was really fun. So I guess it but it's easier to do it. So let's see. Remember if you like my Rickson, no phone like subscribe, so I know which type of videos to react to more. Check out the Rick Sunday, there's a link in the season, and yeah, let's do it. Hello again, fellas. Welcome back to the live channel. Just Cause 3. I am the proud owner of the 100% world record speedrun. Well, I used to be. You see, this government fugitive right here took my record. So today, I'll be taking it back. Wait a minute. He's an hour ahead? And the whole thing's like 12 hours to be... Uh, hold on. It's gotta be something else. Uh, all of that. Let me see the record again. So today, I'll be taking it back. Wait a minute. He's an hour... Okay. I thought... Uh, but yeah. So Martin did it at 12 hour 33 minutes, the third, third guy is at 14 hour 49 minutes, so that's impressive, right? But this guy actually jumped another hour, like how can you even fucking do that? This guy just went ballistic. <laughs> this guy An hour ahead, and the whole thing's like 12 hours to be... Uh, hold on. It's gotta be something else. Uh, aha! Today, I'll be taking the record in the far more prestigious, seven minute long race to Mr. Snowman category. The run is as follows. <clears throat> okay. Plane, wait a minute, jump off plane, land in ravine, leave ravine, meet Mario Frigo, skip cutscene, hop in the boot box, sick cliff jump, steel tank, shoot tank, left, right, left, right, kill motorbike guy, skip cutscene, helicopter, fly, goofy stuff, get on minigun. New helicopter, land very carefully. Skip cutscene, back in helicopter. Once again, fly goofy style. See snowman area, see snowman, stand next to snowman. What do you think about that, Rico? So, we meet again, Mr. Snowman. Is it? So true, Rico. So true. And that's the run. So, let us begin. I don't know the speed run, I don't know the route, so let's just do it. Runs 1, 2, and 3 all went down the drain, and so did the stream, because of what I like to call an... <clears throat> Avalanche Studios moment. I just wanted to have a fun little stream. All right, from the top, I'm just, Snowman. Okay, but on run four, we made it to the car. We made it to the tank. We made it to the blue helicopter, and we made it to the minigun. But while uh, borrowing the military helicopter, I blew myself up. And I just... <laughs> we kept going for research purposes, so purely for the sake of research, I blew myself up again, and just to really lock in my findings, I did it one more time. Hey, that's the guy who talks shit about White Castle. Get him, boys. Oh no, they found me. Oh god. Oh no, the Americans. They didn't like my tier list. I don't want to get waterboarded in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> oh. This isn't so bad. That's right, fucko. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. I mean War Thunder. It's time to hunt. Some war. Would you like to drop hot, sticky, burning loads all over the Vietnamese? Well, you can. Would you like to take the skies in our hyper-realistic depiction of the Super Marine Spitfire? Well, guess what? You can! Or maybe you'd like to take things a little slower and roll around in this. Or this. Or this. The hell is that? You can, idiot. Download War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X or S, or any console from the previous generation. I am not asking. I am demanding. Do it now, or bad things will happen to you and those you hold most dear. Maybe you want to go arcade mode and have some fun with your mouse and keyboard. Maybe you want to go realistic mode and be realistic. Or maybe you want to purchase a $480,000 simulation rig and use it to fly the F4 Phantom with every component, knob, and bit modeled down to the smallest detail. Tanks, helicopters, jet, 2,000 vehicles across the full spectrum of war. And perhaps, thunder. I like this game's community. They know far too much. How on earth do you get your hands on these classified documents? And why are you sharing them around? Oh, I know. It's to make sure the damage model is as realistic as humanly possible. That's right. No hit points, no health bar. Only your components and their individual propensity to go... 
Anyway, uh, download it now. Claim your free bonus 500,000 silver, premium vehicles, boosters, seven days of premium, and some other stuff, and back to the video. And just to really lock in my findings, I did it. Seriously though, <laughs> after Seth is video about War Thunder, right? I mean, whenever you hear of this online type of game, sponsored games, you're like, yeah, this is gonna be fine. But after seeing Seth is video, like, holy shit, the game is really incredible. Especially the, you know, simulator mode. Right? Lots of play, you know, lots of people play on arcade, but judging from common, lots don't. <laughs> they play simulator mode. The game is really incredible. One more time. But this time the cutscene actually played, which meant I couldn't get the helicopter back, and so I improvised. I stole a car, drove to a military base, stole a much slower helicopter, and made my way over to Mr. Snowman, setting the blisteringly fast personal best of 12 minutes, 34 seconds, baby. A simply phenomenal 24th place. Right, run number 5. I made it to the car slightly ahead of the world record, but lost that lead sliding out like an idiot. But the real time loss came from the game soft locking, so I had to self destruct and redo the entire tank session. Landing the helicopter properly on my first try got me the lead back, so I finished off with a blazing fast PB of 9 minutes and 28 seconds. Oh yes! Moving us up to 20th place. World record speedrun with racing wheel. Well, would you believe it? I have a racing wheel and pedals. You use the accelerator to go forwards in Minecraft. From here on, I would restart the game before every run to avoid soft locking. A bit inconvenient, but I knew it'd all be worth it when I claimed that beautiful world record badge once again. On run number six, I crashed the car again, discovered a new groundbreaking technique for helicopter flight. Gah. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> Speed. And learned why the world record parks the military chopper so far away. Is that okay there? Will that despawn? If that despawns, I'm gonna be so sad. Did it despawn? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> run 7. This was my first good run. No huge mistakes, but still plenty of little fuck ups. 5 seconds behind my PB getting into the car, but I made it back with some clean driving. Lost about 10 seconds because of fucking motorcycle guy, but without a soft lock. I made it to the blue helicopter about 90 seconds faster than my PB. I then discovered another incredible method for flying. No, no, okay. no, no. Fuck. And finished the run 1 minute and 34 seconds ahead of my personal best. Okay, this might be the best run of the stream. Maybe. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, 7.53. 20 seconds. Right. What the hell, man? That's a... What the hell, man? That just makes me think, like, how the fuck did he do that those 12 hour ones? <laughs> I mean, look at all the mistakes you can make, right? Uh, I don't know. I always assume the people who get this speed record are so psychotic with their game playing that they rarely make mistakes but seeing martin here i don't even know how much time he must have spent doing those 12 hour runs i mean imagine that you're doing a 12 hour run <laughs> just getting everything right and by the last second you realize oh i'm off by you know few minutes oh holy shit that 12 hour run again <laughs> it probably scarred him so bad he's like okay i'm not doing that again i'm just going to do this small run right here with the snowman thing lost two seconds because of bad dude rng Nothing you can do about that, except cry. Lost a second killing the motorbike guy, but then saved four whole seconds from landing the military chopper very quickly. I was a bit slow on the final descent, but despite all of that, I set a new PB of seven minutes and 50 seconds, jumping us all the way up to fourth place. This was a pretty Ooh. good time, just 17 seconds behind the world record. But in such a short speed run, 17 seconds is quite a bit. Yeah, so to see lot. where I was going wrong, I watched the world record for myself to analyze in meticulous detail. Maybe I should do some frame by frame analysis of the footage. The footage of your bathroom break? Probably not. <laughs> From this, I learned a few things. One, this cliff jump is stupid, so don't do it. Two, if you get on top of the car instead of jumping out of it, you can grapple to the tank earlier, saving about one second for free. Three, if you just don't suck, there are about 10 seconds to save on the tank section. Four, aerial acrobatics are slow, so don't do them. Five, if you jump down from the minigun platform, you can grab a rocket launcher, which lets you position yourself better for when the helicopter arrives. And six, in this category, loading times aren't deducted. And this guy's load times are insanely good. I don't know how he did it, but over the course of the run, I was losing like five seconds each run, purely from load times. Ruby Phoenix, if you're watching this, send me your hard drive. And it over. Run 11 was killed by this guy. It was just a- Wait a minute. Okay, so... <laughs> He basically having, you know, don't just have, you know, solid state drive, right? I don't get that. I mean, obviously, Martin's gonna have that. He's a, you know, hardcore gamer from what I see. This is probably from his Twitch, right? He plays on Twitch. He actually did this whole stream without editing. 
in front of all the people watching, right? That's how he was reading the comments. So he probably has SSD. So somebody has SSD that even faster than that? I don't know. I guess some, you know, the first number guy is some kind of a geek, probably tweaked and whatever to make sure his, uh, you know, SSD is just really fast. Because five second difference, that's a lot, right? So that means Martin is already faster in what he's doing. He's already lagging because of those five seconds. The dude. But run 12 was a new PB. I was still far from perfect. There were six seconds between me and the world record. So where do those six seconds come from? Well, I fucked up and lost about two seconds at the start, another two seconds on the drive, and the last two seconds came from load times. For the first four seconds, I really just had to focus and play the game better. That third issue, however, I really couldn't do anything about. I did realize, however, that the rocket launcher was a waste of time. As long as I made it to the helicopter as soon as possible, I was good to go. But yeah. worry not, folks. Despite the bad load times, my next run would be on pace to set the world record. All right, 7.33 a beat. That was so fast. I swear that was fast. Let me in. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? No, 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 no. Oh, did I get out? It is, it's here. Oh my god, runs on. Go, go, go. Okay. My heart's beating. Are we approaching a W? Perhaps. I'm concentrating so hard. Mark scratching. So why is he oh. flying like that? All right. Come on, come on. Speed. Uh! No! 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 Fuck! A tie. I tied my fucking PB. And yeah, sure, I made a couple of mistakes, but I know this has been three and a half seconds longer. A load time. Whatever. Next run. Run number fourteen. Killed by a motorcycle gun. <laughs> run number fifteen. Denny's is. Good, but then he's just in fast food. 150 menu items. I had the griddle. Oh my god, I'm fucking missing all the skips. It's all gone downhill. I'm talking about fast food. I gotta be talking about explosions. Yeah. I thought I was quite low. <laughs> my castle is amazing. Run number 16. <laughs> okay, I was about to say that. When I was a kid, I remember I didn't do any much of challenges. But I remember playing certain really difficult, uh, you know, games, really difficult elements of it. Playing at really difficult, you know, difficulties, basically. And, you know, you try, try 10 times, 50 times, <laughs> basically a lot of time. After hours, the frustration, even though you're not, you know frustration is going to be a problem, it's inevitable. Some form of frustration will set in and that will affect how you play and it's going to go worse from there, right? I mean, I remember coming to a point where like, okay, you know, I'll try this tomorrow or later on, right? I'm certainly not going to do now because it's getting worse and worse. Time is getting even worse. So I, I think that's some, somewhat is getting to him here. But obviously he's a pro. He did those 12 hour things, right? So he can get past this. <laughs> Damn, this is just awesome. Team, fucking motorcycle guy again. Run number 17. The fucking motorcyclist lived again. Get over here, you little shit. I just want also, the longest load time yet, costing me eight whole entire seconds. Run number 18. I lowered every setting to the absolute bare minimum, hoping loads would improve. Say goodbye to nice res. They did not. I was in the car by 157. Yeah, did I some mean, impeccable driving, getting to the tank three minutes the into the run, and, and, faces, yeah. and into the blue helicopter by three minutes 50. Fucked up real bad getting on the minigun, losing about three seconds. Absolutely annihilated the idiot motorcycle guy. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. This could be it. Oh my god, I'm on pace. Go, you bastard. So oh. Yes, 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 come on. Fuck! <laughs> if you remove load times from both of our runs, that was the world record by exactly 4 seconds and 22 frames. And listen, I don't want to be an asshole over the silly snowman world record, but load times probably shouldn't be included. It is just a little yeah, I mean, come on, that's world just... record. I'm like, come on. We're gonna do it one more time. I did a few more runs just to see. I mean, that's just fucked up, right? Load time should not be part of it, right? It's just like saying, yo, your hardware is not good, so you're not a good player. That has nothing to do with the gameplay, man. <laughs> I, I genuinely didn't know that load time is gonna be part of this thing. So when he did those 12 hour challenges, that also accounted load times. So even that was an issue there. Yeah, you would think that, you know, in those 12 hours things, load time would not matter. But that's like a whole game's challenges, collecting everything, every collectibles, right? So load times would matter, I think. Especially, I mean, I don't know how much it would accumulate, but yeah, that's just fucked up. 
see what would happen, but it uh, didn't really amount to anything. Okay, video over. Subscribe, bing, go bing, download bing, bing, More Thunder bing, 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 now, bing, bing, bing. and uh... <laughs> there you go. All right. <sighs> so yeah, I mean, uh, you know, just cause uh, challenges thing is still going on. Even the just cause two one, just cause three one, even though just cause four came out years ago. I like that, right? I mean, just cause three is still alive. Even though I know just cause four kind of sucked. I don't know. I always assume like, is it me? But no, I tried it again and just cause four was something was off. Even the look of the game looked kind of like, I don't know, worse than just cause three somehow. At least it should look same or better. Something about it just looked bad. Uh, you know, textures and everything. So yeah, just cause three is still kind of the best just cause three there is, right? Uh, obviously, they're going to be just cause two diehard fans, but whatever. <laughs> and I like how people are still doing those 12 hour things. Somebody actually beat him with an hour. Alright, well, if you like my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.